Hi guys, this is AJ Stelexio and welcome to another lovely tutorial. So we'll be learning how to make a spaghetti strap. You could use it to wear your clothes, your jacket, your bumper jacket, your short collar blazer, even your shirt and then you can also wear it with your trouser or your shorts as nightwear for you, as your pyjamas. So if you want to learn how to make your spaghetti strap, then watch this video to the end. by three inches as I've said the basic bodies is the is the foundation for all necklines so this is it then take your normal your shoulder measurements come down by one inch connect it then Take your arm hole depth and then connect first. Then take your bust like measurements. Please add ease allowance and sewing allowance when you're making. Okay, let me just add it here so that my bust measurement is 9.5 plus ease allowance 10 plus one inch ease allowance, which is 10.5. Then one inch to an allowance which is eleven point five. So if I was making taking the old measurement, I'll take eleven point five. Yeah. But I'm not using it, so that just it just add your ease allowance and strength allowance. So I'll take my half length. This paper is so small. I'll take my waist measurement of eight point five. Then I'll take my hip measurements. Price more. This is length 20 and a half. It's not going up to 24 inches. This is my normal length. So I'll just stop here and assume this is it. You know how to take the other measurements. So let me just mark um, 9.5 here. Connect it. So you know how to do the others. Then you take your ample curve. This is it. So for your spaghetti top, this this is three by three. You come down by five inches again. This is five inches. Then you take the midpoint of this line. This is my own. This is my shoulder line. The shoulder line now is five inches. The midpoint is two and a half. So this two and a half line, I'll just draw it down. So you make sure your ruler is straight. Just draw it down straight. So on this line, I'll take three inches. Then I'll connect these three inches to this five. That is from here to here is five. I'll connect these three inches to this five with a neckline type of curve. So I'm curving inwards, which is a concave curve. Then I'll connect these three inches points. So my arm hook. Connect it back to my arm hook hole. So this is the new pattern I have now. This is my main pattern. This is what I will cut out. So what I will add to this now is just the spaghetti strap. And I will show you how to sew that. So this is what I will use in cutting on my fabric. So I'll cut my front and my back the same way, the same measurement for neck, everything the same. I'll cut my front and back. So what I'll do is I'll cut thin long fabric, something like this also. I'll sew it around like on the neck of the front, sew it on the neck of the back. Then I'll cut another long one. That one I'll cut now. The length now we start from, you know, we started from 3 inches. If you look at it now, we started from three inches down. So many three inches is out. So when I'm cutting the other 
the other the strap that will be here our major three inches first on food of major three inches here on food which is three inches plus three inches that is front three inches and back three inches, which is six inches before i'll now add what will come here so what i'll measure is i'll just put my tape like this major like this to the arm new arm o curve now not this old one from here before you cut it that's what i should have done before i cut it from this point here i'll just measure like this use my tape to follow the curve what I have here now is 10 and a half. So I can cut maybe, let me say, 12 just to be on the safer side. So if I cut 12, that's what I'll use now in turning. After turning this neck with um, bias, bias of the same fabric I'll be using, I'll turn here with bias. I'll turn the back of this with bias. I'll cut the back same way, turn it with bias. Then I can even cut the back different way. I can make the back deeper than this if I want. I can make it the same depth. Then I'll cut sew the neck. When I sew the neck, I'll use the strap now to turn the arm in. Let me just show you an example of what I'm saying. So this is an example of what I'm saying. This is it. This is the cut now. Are you seeing it? This is the cut. This is the shape. So I just I just look at the neck. I first use the material as bias to turn this neck and to turn the back neck. But the back neck I made it deeper than the front neck. I wear this inside my jacket and I wear it inside some laces. I used to wear it like that because I started wearing it at home. I made the back deeper. So the back is deeper so that because of some kind of dress I want to wear so that the back will show and all of that. The this um, so will not come out of my dress like that there, there's a lace i had denture the back was low and when i wear this inside if this back is high it will be showing so I, I, I had to make the back low too so that it will not come out of the lace but the color will reflect from the lace so this is it you just turn here with the bias turn this neck with the bias then that measurement i told you that's what you cut here now that's what you now put you put it from one arm hole from one arm hole like this turn it sew it round then just sew it from here sew it round sew it to this arm hole before you join the sides of your blouse of your dress inside so that is how to slit the spaghetti strap now the strap will be adding to it if you check now said the extra up is three inches so if it's on fold now this is it this is the three inches then this is the other partner that will go around the ample so this is the second part so this is the way it will be but i'll be folding it so by the time it's folded to be a little bit slim this measurement now is um it's really big but because i want a fat strap but if you want very tiny strap then your this medium this can even go for two sleeves which is one inch you just cut one inch then you fold quarter in quarter in then you fold both of them so by the time after folding to be you'll be left with half inches so that is just about it so first of all we'll turn the neck like i said we turn the neck with the piece we ready this for the sleeve, the sleeve so this is the neck we turn the neck with it so the first thing we do is this is the neck we want to do this other type of bias turning now so the same for the next we can still cut one inches one inch so just place it around like this this is the right side let it lie on the wrong side place it like this pin it round like this This is it then you take it to your machine this is it take it to your machine and sew it with quarter of an inch so by the time you sew it it will be like this then i'll show you what to do next so you do this for the first bodies and then the second bodies too that is the back the back and the front you do the same thing just turn the sew the neck like this place the dress 
to the back side, the wrong side. You can do this type of bias even for the neck of your normal blouses. You can use this pattern also of bias turning. So the right side of the bias should face the right side, the wrong side of the dress. Then you pin it. You sew it by whatever inch, depending on the how wide your bias is. But if it's the other normal bias that has a mark, our regular bias that has a mark, you still put this wrong side. The, the wrong side now we face this is the right side this is the wrong side so for this regular bias I want to do the same pattern we we'll do it like this this part now this two folded part will face up then we just pin the the edge of the first folding round so it then we'll be left with the second folding so that folding now will be, we'll be turning it to the front later now I've joined the bias to the neck so the next thing i'll do now is i'll bring turn turn the dress now to the right side this is the bias then i'll fold this bias once like this then i'll fold this part now this joint part just look at it very well this is the back of the dress first of all this is the back of the dress this is the bias if it's opened so i'll just with the bias open like this now this is it. This is the extra bias. The parts joined together. So the next thing I'll do is I'll fold this bias like this. Then this part that is sewn, I'll just I'll fold this bias like this. Then use the bias to cover this part that is sewn. This is it. So the bias now will be on the tip of the neck. So you just pin it down. So this is it fold the bias then fold it fold the neck into the folded bias and then pin down just do it all through fold it then use it to cover that join the part you join the bias and dress together so you can use this for any neckline you can use this for a sleeveless top with uh, to turn the top like that C for like for C back top, you can use this pattern to turn the the whole edges of the of the top. So it will almost look like it's the material that was folded, but it's actually bias. But you just use the same material. So this is the edge. This is the way to look like. Then this is the back. So the bias is showing at the back. Then it's showing at the front. So you just sew it close to the edge of the folding. Very close to the edge. You sew it. So you do this for the same for the front and then the back. After that, we'll now I'll show you how to join the armhole. Okay, so this is it. Now I've sewn the neck. This is the back. This is the front. I've sewn it. Let me bring it close to the camera so you see. So the next thing is i've done the same thing for the back as well the front and the back so the next thing is to place we said the what we are leaving here is three inches when it's on food and if it's open it's six inches so i'll just fold it like this whether to the front whether to the back measure three inches Then you can mark it, put a mark there, or you just notch the point of three inches, notch like this, so that you know where you are starting on your fabric. So you just place it on fold like this, then get your three inches mark, and then you notch. So this is it now. On the fold three inches three inches now so this point here I'll just mark it so is this notch part now I'll make sure it's the notch part will lie here and the second notch part will lie on the back 
so the same thing we did at the other for the uh, for this next sewing that's what we still do for this one so you still turn it like this place the notch part let it align with the edge of the neck this is the neck let the notch part this is the neck now this is the arm or curve that is left the notch part This is the notch, where's the notch part now? Let me notch this other side, I can't find it. The notch is so small, so I can't even find it. So, this is the notch part now. This is the notch. So, place it like this, but on this side, on the back, let the notch part be on the edge of the neck and then you pin you pin all through to the all through the armhole This can serve so many purposes. You can wear it with your pajamas, and then you can also wear it inside your jacket. So you sew here. Like this. Then this other part that is notch, I place this one like this to the same way. You know, this is the front of the dress, and this is the back of the dress. So don't get confused. These are the two pieces together, front and back. You know, we folded this side like this before pinning. So. We just paint this side like this because this side now this is the front facing down this one the front is facing up so i have to turn it like this to paint this side is already turned so you just to put the notch part there and then paint as well This is it. Both sides are pinned now. So you sew here with quarter of an inch. Sew here with quarter of an inch. That is um, 0 0.4. So sew here and then you sew here. So when you are done sewing, you turn here back now the way we did that, the neck. Turn it like this. Fold here first and then put the folding inside. Fold it like that, and then you fold these two parts now that is left together. So let me just let me just join here and join here, and then you see what I'm talking about. Well, this is it. I've sewn it to the front, and I've sewn it to the back. So the next thing I'll do is that same way we folded the neck. You fold this many part of the bias in like this, then use it to cover this joining. Then you pin down the pin should be at the edge where the folding mark is fold it in and cover the joining so the wideness of your bias determine uh, is determined by your by the choice or design you want if you want it very tiny do it very tiny if you want it as fat as mine do it as fat as mine my nice actually two inches bias so the folding is half inch this is it so after folding now i'm left with this opening let me fold this back to first of all let me fold it back just fold it in like this then use it to cover this joining Yeah. 
after painting both sides this is what it looks like for this part now will be the one that will rest on your shoulder so all it is already folding if you look at it now it's folding on its own because both side both ends are already folded into the fabric so you just fold it fold it like this fold it like this and then fold it again so it will align now with the one that entered the fabric fold it let it be the same wideness then just fold it take this side in take this side in then close it with a pin this side in left hand side in right hand side in then just fold now even now so it's easy to fold because the, almost everywhere is folded so the other part will just fold on its own following the folding already so this is it this is it so i'll just take it to my machine so close to the edge from here like this then come here stick carefully sew on it and then come back here and sew so by the time i'm done with this i'll do the same thing on this side of the dress by the time i'm done with both sides this is it by the time i'm done with both sides i can now close my top by the sides with whatever inch i added as so in and out so this is it when i'm done i'll show you so i've sewn it this is it so let me just pin the second side again for those who got confused with the first pinning this is it so just turn the side you want to pin like this then turn the side like this the right side the bias facing the wrong side first of all place it like this mark how many inches you want you to you left the rest on the shoulder and for our own we made we used three inches so i'll just mark it out and notch you know it's, it's on full so the two parts notched one part to rest here one part to rest here so i'll open it back again this notch part i'll turn here and make sure the notch part rest on the edge of the neck then i'll pin then i'll pin this side along the arm or curve round this notch part i'll place it i'll turn here to the back as well pin then i'll pin it round along the ample then after pinning i'll sew it by quarter of an inch so here by quarter of an inch when i'm done sewing that's when i'll turn and then fold so let me sew so this is it i've joined the two sides so i'll just turn it like this hold it like this then put the arm holes together the extra bias cut it got the excess put the two arm all together make sure the two they are touching each other like this then you pin then after pinning you pin down pin down to the end of the fabric and then you sew by whatever inch you added as sewing allowance you do the same thing for this other side cut the SS bias then you pin thank you guys for watching don't forget to share subscribe click the notification bell and give it a thumbs up